Irma. Um, I love using base 10 blocks to demonstrate our division algorithm and what's actually happening mathematically with all that crazy notation that can be so overwhelming to students. Um, and I don't actually have any base, base 10 blocks with me, so I'm going to just draw them on here, and you'll have to bear with me because I'm not the best artist. Um, I'm going to use like a little dot to represent 1, and then I'm going to use a stick to represent 10, and then I'm going to use um, a square to represent 100. And when students are actually doing this, if they have the blocks to actually touch and move around, it, it makes a bigger impact. Um, but I'm just going to draw. So here we go. So our first step is to think about what's happening in division. I have 532, and I'm trying to divide it up amongst four groups. So I'm going to start by drawing 532, and then I'm going to divvy that up into four groups. So 532. That's going to be five hundreds, thirty, two. Okay. And I'm trying to divide this into four equal groups. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's start divvying up. I can see that if I have five hundreds, I have more than enough to put one in each group. So I'm going to divvy that up, one for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, awesome. And I see that I have enough to put 100 in each group. So in our division algorithm, we start by saying, look at the 5 and see how many times 4 goes into 5. Well, what we're really saying is that 5 is in the hundreds place. It's like I have five hundreds. And if I'm wanting to put those 500s into four groups, there's only going to be one in each group. And the quotient tells me how many are going into each group. So I'm going to indicate that 100, that's why it's in the hundreds place, is um, going to go into each of the four groups. And if 100 goes into each of the four groups, 4 times 1 is 4. I've used up four of those hundreds. So I'm going to subtract them off because I used them. And that leaves me 100 left. I know this is 100 because it's in my hundreds column. And I can see on my manipulatives, I have 100 left. But that 100 isn't doing me any good in the format it's in. So I'm going to cash it in for some tens. So this 100, I can cash them in, and that will give me 10 tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Awesome. So I have 10 tens that I've cashed in, plus the three I already have. So I have 13 tens now. And in my division algorithm, that's equivalent to dropping this three down. Okay. That three is in the tens place. Okay. And so I'm showing I have 13 tens to work with now. And I'm wanting to put those 13 tens into four groups. So I'm going to divvy them up again. Um, I'm going to count by twos, because I know I have more than enough to put two, so these two will go here, 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 okay? And I have enough to keep going, so I'm going to put one in each group. Awesome. Now I'm just left with one. So I can see that I had enough tens to put three in each group. And so I've used up 12 of them, and there's one left over. And over here in my division algorithm, I model that by saying, okay, I have 13 tens. I need to put them in to four groups. So the closest I can get to um, putting t you know, 13 tens into four groups is to put three in each group. Because four times three gives me 12. And if I've used up 12 of those 10s, I'm going to have one left over. And that's what my base 10 blocks have modeled for me. I have 13 10s. When I divided them up into four groups, when I took those 13 10s and I divided it into four groups, there were three in each group. So I used up 12. And when I used them up, I subtracted that off. I'm left with one 10. That one is in my 10s column. 
and that 110 isn't doing me any good in the format it's in. So I'm going to cash it in. I'm going to take this guy, cash him in for 10 ones. There we go. So now I have more than enough tens to divvy up in my groups here. And that is equivalent to saying that the one ten I had is going to be combined with the two ones, and that gives me 12 ones altogether. So I'll divvy up. So I'm going to put two at a time, save, save me some time here. And then I have enough to put one in each group. And I've used them all up, so I'm not going to have a remainder. So if I start with 12 ones, there's enough to put three in each of the four groups. And over here in my division algorithm, I can tell myself, well, if I have 12 ones and I divide them into four groups, that's going to give me three in each group. Four times three is 12. I've used it all up with no remainder. So my blocks show me that in each group I have 133 blocks. Um, so the blocks are just a good way to help students try to visually connect the place value that's happening um, in our division algorithm. And this only works when you're um, you know, dealing with a small number of groups not a terribly large number of blocks, but if struggling students I found do enough of these, they start connecting the importance of place value over here and they wean themselves off of the blocks. Um, it just helps build confidence, makes it a little more fun, they think it's a game, um, but I've had a lot of success with this, so I just wanted to show you. Hope it helps.